Hey guys, it's Dave from MrDavePeats.com. Thanks so much for checking out my channel. If you have not subscribed today, please subscribe. And today we'll be talking about Nordic Ashes Survivors of Ragnarok. Nordic Ashes is a Norse-inspired action roguelike enemy hell where you'll survive hordes of creatures, unlock new weapons and abilities to battle through different realms, design the most broken build and slay your enemies before they surround you. And this is basically a similar game to the Vampire Survivors title and similar titles. I've covered certain other ones like this, like the Bone Raider Minions video I did on Halloween. And I was very graciously contacted by Knoxville Studios to take a look at the game. And I'll be featuring it on the Mr. Dave Pizza website, so be sure to check that out. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is a early access game, but I'd say it's almost in a very polished, near-release type early access. Um, this is really fleshed out, and uh, as I said, you play as a Viking warrior and um, attempt to progressively outlast the waves of creatures within the Yggdrasil um, lands, mythical lands. Uh, everything is based in the Norse mythology, which I really appreciate because I've always been um, pretty interested in that topic. But uh, I'm not the greatest at doing these vampire survivors, but I have played them a little bit, and I can say pretty much anybody could pick these up. If you wanted to spend time with this, you could definitely take your time with it and get better. It's got a lot of features. It's got two ability trees, including a multi-tier system to begin with. And then there's also the constellation uh, ability tree. And uh, there's power-ups and different ways of improving your character throughout the game. So... Uh, this is a very open-ended experience, and uh, yeah, so it's pretty fun. Um, the first area starts out in Midgard, which is considered the um, Earthbound uh, Viking world within the Yggdrasil tree of myth Nordic mythology, Norse mythology, and um, yeah, so the first one is just kind of like these dire rats, and that's pretty uh, common in um, a lot of RPGs to use that uh, symbol for the first area because it's easy to conquer. Um, but it definitely gets progressively harder. You'll see I went through the first two waves in the game on this. Took about 10 minutes. Um, but uh, it just looks great. It's kind of reminiscent of the Hades and Bastion games. Um, Kind of nice, though, that this is actually similar to Hades in a way, but totally different in other ways, because that was a... Uh, it was a roguelike, but this is more Vampire Survivors-like, and is also Norse mythology. It's not Greek mythology, so... This is pretty cool, and um, it is available on Steam right now. Uh, just got released on December 15th. Pretty positive review so far. Um, I'd recommend checking it out. It's only $5.00. $4.99 to be exact, so uh, that is a pretty good deal for a good game. And like I said, I have done a full write-up on my website. I have um, some various thoughts on the themes and just need to get that website updated because I've been uh, kind of slowed down for a little bit. But uh, holidays are moving on. We're moving on to the new year and we'll be playing some new games and talking about new games and Hope to get you all back as viewers and readers again. Again, if you haven't subscribed before, we'd really appreciate it. It helps me, um, well, it just helps me keep going, basically. So, uh, there's that. And, yeah, enjoy the video. You'll be seeing the first two waves, and there is more info on the website. Thanks for watching.
Thank <laughs> you. 